Did you know that there is a National Larimar Day? Let's find out when and where in this video. My name is Sheila from Satin Crystals and today we are discussing Larimar, its properties and answering your top five questions about the stone. Make sure, take a second, to subscribe to the Satin Crystals channel so you don't miss out on all of your upcoming favorite gemstone videos. Now let's discuss Larimar and let's see if you are somebody who could benefit from Larimar in your life right now. What is Larimar? Larimar is a form of pectolite and pectolite is a rock that is very abundant. It is found all over the world in all kinds of colors, but Larimar is this blue, sometimes blue-green form of pectolite that is only found in the Dominican Republic. So Larimar gets its blue color from copper inclusions and it is a very distinct, rare, and popular gemstone. The top five questions that we are going to answer about Larimar today are, what are the healing properties of Larimar? How do you use Larimar in your healing practice? How can you tell real versus fake Larimar? What is the best quality of Larimar that you can get? And is Larimar still being mined? What are the healing properties of Larimar? Larimar in the metaphysical world is best known for its energy of peace and serenity. So it reminds us of the Caribbean blue seas from where it came from in the Dominican Republic, that tranquil energy. It helps us to take that mental vacation, especially if you're running around in the rat race in your everyday world, getting stressed out, you can use Larimar to help calm that energy in your aura and help you focus on those thoughts that focus on gratitude for what you have in this present moment. Larimar is also excellent for the throat chakra. It helps to open your communication center so you can better express yourself and understand what other people are saying. It is a stone of patience and appreciation. How do you use Larimar in your healing practice? Now there's many different ways you can use your Larimar stones. You can head over to the Satin Crystals Larimar Meanings page and you'll find a lot of ideas. Here I'm going to give you just a few to get you started. So first of all, you can use Larimar tumbled stones and place them around your bed, under the bed, at your bedstand, or even under your pillow to help you with that peaceful energy to help you sleep and have beautiful dreams about your upcoming holidays. Larimar spheres are nice and smooth. They fit in the palms of your hands. You can hold them during your meditations, visualizations, or just any time that you're feeling a little bit stressed out and you want to relieve that anxiety, use Larimar spheres. Larimar eggs are also perfect to hold in the palms of your hands. These can be used if you're going through any kind of transition. The egg shape is great for new beginnings and Larimar will help ease you into this transition. They can also be used as massage stones. So you can use them for releasing tension in your physical body. If you don't have any Larimar wands, Larimar, Larimar eggs are perfect for this as well. You can use Larimar moon-shaped crystals for your new moon or full moon rituals. This is great to connect your spiritual mind with the higher realms and connect you with this physical world. So body, mind, and spirit with your Larimar moons and the energy of the lunar cycles. You can wear Larimar pendants at your throat chakra or place Larimar stones at your throat chakra if you are working on this communication center to balance the energy here. You can use 
Larimar stones, if you are connected with a dolphin spirit animal. Larimar, Larimar is also known as the dolphin stone, so it helps you to connect with that guardian animal. It is also known as an Atlantis stone. So those of you who are connecting with the lost civilization of Atlantis or the Akashic records to gain that wisdom from the past, Larimar is a perfect one to use in your practice. How do you tell if your Larimar is real or fake? So like all the other gemstones, the best way to tell if your stone is real or not is to send it in to a certified gemological laboratory and they can do all the scientific tests and let you know for sure. The second best way is to have a reputable seller who knows what they are talking about. So make sure that they are educated in the stone that you want to buy. And otherwise, the third way is to educate yourself. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how to tell if your Larimar is real or not. These are not conclusive in themselves, but it'll give you a clue as to what you have. So first of all, as we said, Larimar only comes from the Dominican Republic. So the vendor should always mark it as Dominican Republic. If it's coming from somewhere else, that is a great giveaway that is not Larimar. Larimar should also be priced accordingly, so it is on the higher end of the scale of gemstones that you will be buying. Especially beads and jewelry, they are more pricey than your other beaded uh, gemstones. So make sure that the price is priced according to Larimar on the market. Larimar is usually a 4 to a 5 on the Mohs scale of hardness. This means that anything that is greater than five should be able to scratch your Larimar stone. Anything below a four should not be able to scratch it. So this can come in handy when you are scratching stones like calcite, which is softer than Larimar. You can see if that is real or fake. If you're scratching something like quartz, then that is much higher on the most scale of hardness than Larimar. Now, You'd be using a stainless steel knife and scratching the surface of your Larimar. It should be able to scratch it. However, a lot of the Larimar on the gemstone market is stabilized. So there are um, other materials that is stabilizing your Larimar to make it more durable. So most all of your jewelry of, in Larimar will be stabilized. A lot of the stones will be as well so they can retain their shape without falling apart. Sometimes they are waxed on the surface as well so it might be a little bit harder to scratch and determine. But that is one way that you can tell if your Larimar is real or fake. Check your Mohs scale of hardness. Here I have a glass Larimar and a real Larimar. Now, can you tell the difference? This one here is also known as Snowflake Jade. It is sometimes passed off as a green Larimar. So the, the glass Larimars are usually skewed more towards the green side, whereas Larimar, the real Larimar, can be green, but it's usually that blue-green of the ocean. Now this glass Larimar is patterned like Larimar, but you can see the deep, clear, glass inclusions within. Also, if you had a magnifying glass, you might be able to see air bubbles within this glass, whereas Larimar, real Larimar, would never have bubble inclusions. Real Larimar is also heavier than glass. So if you have the relative, relatively same size stone, the Larimar should feel heavier in your hands than the glass version. Also, the glass should be much, much cheaper than a real Larimar tumbled stone. Now, let me show you Caribbean calcite versus Larimar. As you can see, they are very similar. This tower point is called Caribbean calcite. It is a natural blue calcite with white to brown aragonite and this is often passed off as Larimar. 
It comes from Pakistan and not the Dominican Republic, so that is the first clue. It is also much softer on the Mohs scale of hardness, so it's much easier to scratch than Larimar. So that is a good indication that it is not Larimar. However, there is a stone that looks very similar as well, and it is called Chinese Larimar. Now the Chinese part should give it away, but oftentimes they just call it Larimar, and you have to be careful because this is actually a stone called Hemimorphite. And Hemimorphite has that same blue tone, or it can have that same blue tone as Larimar. It can also have the white patterns and the inclusions, like this Larimar here on this side is natural Larimar. It has the brown inclusions. On this side, it has some black inclusions. Hemimorphite could have the same. And Hemimorphite is the same uh, hardness on the Mohs scale of hardness, so you can't really tell by a scratch test. You can tell hemimorphite from Larimar by a density test, as hemimorphite is more dense than Larimar. So this is a little bit more going into the scientific part of telling stones apart. But just by the color and by the inclusions, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to tell hemimorphite from Larimar. Real Larimar is known and prized for its unique, white veins and patterns. So in this stone here, you can see distinct white veins that are making the unique Larimar pattern. This stone here is mostly blue, but if you look really, really closely, you will still see that turtle back pattern within the stone. So it might be a little bit more difficult to see, but it is there. So Larimar does have that white patterning. It might be very different from one piece to the next, but you should look for that marbling, which fake Larimar might not have. Real Larimar is also not dyed, whereas fake Larimar, fake stones or real stones that are dyed to look like Larimar, the dye will come off if you soak it in acetone. So you can determine that way if you have real Larimar with real inclusions or fake Larimar. So fake Larimar, they could also try to make the veins. It must always be white. Sometimes you have howlite, which has gray veins, which they're trying to pass off as Larimar. That is a big clue to you. Sometimes you can get confused with turquoise, which can have the brown veins. That is not Larimar. And sometimes you have just painted on veins. So those might look a little bit more uniform, whereas Larimar, real Larimar, will have all the random white patterns. So they're not uniform. Those are a few tips on how you can tell if your Larimar is the real thing. There are other ways that you can tell as well. We have some more ideas on the Satin Crystals Larimar Meanings article. Now the best way of course is to educate yourself. Look at real Larimar versus fake Larimar pictures, videos, real life stones, and soon enough you will become an expert on Larimar you do not want to be fooled in this market because Larimar is so rare and precious. Why is Larimar so expensive? Now, as we discussed, Larimar, Larimar is very rare. So it comes only from a certain area in the Dominican Republic and it must be carefully extracted from the mine. You can't use heavy dynamite, dynamite or heavy machinery because it will destroy the crystal. So each, each piece is painstakingly extracted for the market. Now as for grading, the deeper vivid blues of Larimar with the white turtle back patterns are the most valuable. Whereas Larimar with all the inclusions and more of a greenish tone is less valuable for the gemstone trade for collectors. For us as healers, we prize Larimar for its properties. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like on the outside. It can still have all the inclusions and unique characteristics. And this helps us in, if you're doing any kind of gazing or any healing work, it helps us in our healing endeavors. So this piece here actually has a lot of the red 
hematite inclusions. And sometimes you'll see this on the market as red Laramar. So that is a term for this kind of Laramar. But when you are a collector, you are going to be looking for the dark blue and unique white patterns that remind you of a turtle's back from the Caribbean seas. Is Laramar still being mined? So yes, at the current moment, Laramar is still being mined in the Dominican Republic. As we discussed, it is a very difficult process for Laramar to be extracted and it must be done by skilled miners. Now, there was a delay a few years ago because there were a few fatalities in this mine and the government shut down the mines to make sure that the safety codes were up to standards and now the mining has resumed. However, nobody knows how much Laramar is left in the tubes, so we can't determine when the Laramar will be exhausted. So that makes it even more precious to obtain now. Now, Laramar is the prize of the Dominican Republic, and as we said in the beginning, Laramar Day occurs in the Dom Dominican Republic every year on November 22nd. So if you want to have a big crystal celebration, head to the Dominican Republic at the end of November. Now that you know a little bit more about Laramar, can you benefit from having it in your life? Here are a few statements. If any of them relate to you, make sure that Laramar is in your collection. So first of all, if you are somebody who is mesmerized by the blue greens of the tropical seas, you will want to gaze into Laramar crystals. If you are somebody who is working on your throat chakra and you want to open your communication center, use Laramar, Laramar here. If you are drawn to dolphins, dolphin energy, if dolphins are your spirit guides, you can use Laramar to call them in. If you are somebody who is wanting to connect with the wisdom of Atlantis and the Akashic records, make sure Laramar is in your practice. If you are somebody who wants to just go on a mental vacation, you don't have time for a real vacation, Laramar is here for you. If you are looking for a peaceful sleep and pleasant dreams, use Laramar in your bedroom. Laramar is a perfect stone for anybody who is seeking patience. So if you're looking for patience, calming energy, use Laramar. Did you learn anything new about Laramar today? We would love to hear your thoughts, comments, questions. Feel free to post them below or contact us at Satin Crystals. There you can also get a whole selection of calcite stones and jewelry. While you're there, make sure to join the Satin Crystals VIP as we send out crystal healing information via email and SMS every single week. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for liking our videos, and thank you for spreading your positive energy into our worlds.